So about six to eight months ago, I got the Atomos Ninja 5. And in the time that I've had it, I've used it to shoot a couple of events, um, but I never tried C-Log. Um, every time I've used it so far, I use the neutral picture profile. And so I was really curious to see how that neutral picture profile would compare to shooting in C-Log. So um, in today's video, we're gonna look at C-Log 10-bit uh, 422, uh, C-Log 8-bit 420, and compare those against the neutral picture profile. So we'll be right back. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to do a comparison of log footage versus standard footage. So what I'm using is I'm using uh, the EOS R, another EOS R, and the 5D Mark IV. Okay, so for the two EOS Rs, I'm using eye autofocus, and for the 5D Mark IV, it has uh, face autofocus. So we'll see if there's a difference in autofocus also. So I'm gonna start off with showing you the ungraded footage. So first off, we have the EOS R uh, shooting in 10-bit 422 C-Log, and I'm shooting that into the Atomos Ninja 5 recorder. Um, the second camera is the EOS R uh, shooting 8-bit 420 log footage, and it's being shot internally to the SD card. And then on the 5D Mark IV, we're shooting in just the flat picture profile. Uh, I don't have the log update for the 5D Mark IV. So anyway, we'll have a comparison of those. These first three shots that I'm showing uh, are the ungraded footage. Now, my settings, all three cameras are shooting at ISO 640. All three cameras are using a 4800 Kelvin white balance. Um, I'm shooting in 4K, 24 frames a second, with a 1 50th shutter speed. Uh, let's see. So, after I film this footage, I'm going to take it in, and I'm not uh, an expert on grading log footage. So, I'm going to take it in, I'm going to try to make the three, uh, all three clips look as close as possible. And I'm interested to see how much of a difference we see in the log footage versus the uh, flat profile. Um, okay, so now we're looking at graded footage. So on the EOS R shooting 10-bit 422, I'm using the 35 millimeter f1.4 L lens version two. Um, on the second EOS R, I'm using the 24 to 70 f2.8 version two lens. And then on the 5D Mark IV, I'm using my 16 to 35 f4 L lens. All of the lenses are set to approximately 35 millimeters so that I have a consistent field of view. So I don't know if we could tell the difference. I'll go in, I haven't seen the footage yet, but I'm curious to see uh, if it's actually worth recording the 10-bit 422. Um, there's other advantages to having the Atomos Ninja 5, uh, just for the all of the exposure aids and things that it has. Um, but don't know if I wanna shoot 10-bit uh, 422 all the time. Uh, so we'll see how the footage looks. Be right back. So some final thoughts. Um, first thing I notice is the neutral picture profile looks terrible. I actually had to uh, double check on the 5D Mark IV that I had it on neutral picture profile. Um, I found it to be really contrasty and looked overly sharpened. So in uh, post, there wasn't much I could do about that. I could lower the, the, uh, ex the sat color saturation a little bit, but um, still looks over sharpened. Um, the main takeaway though is that the 10-bit C log 422 was a dream to grade, and I know nothing about grading. So, uh, what I found on the 10 bit C log was that just by raising the highlights and making a few adjustments on exposure, I barely had to touch the color. Um, color was right on. So, 
that was really nice. Um, 8-bit was a little bit more of a challenge to adjust, but I think I was able to get it to look uh, about the same as the 10-bit. Um, not quite as pleasant. I still think the 10-bit looks the best. So that, that was a pleasant surprise. Uh, so yeah, I'm really pleased with the way 10-bit video looks. And so I think, um, especially now that I see how easy it is to grade, I think that'd be something that I would do more often now. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and um, be sure and subscribe.